Hey everybody, I'm Steve Carfino bringing you the preview, so let's get started. This week in the championship men's, only four matches will be played because two teams have buys, the Maitland Mustangs and the Central Coast Crusaders. But the competition will be fierce. Trust me, because the Bankstown Bruins are trying to bounce back after their tough loss to the Central Coast Crusaders being held to just six points in the first quarter. They'll be hoping to get a good start against the Hills Hornets, who are undefeated with their close win over the Hornsby Spiders. Good match there. Don't miss it. Also on Saturday night, go down to the Brick Pit where the Hornsby Spiders will play host to the Sydney Comets. Comets suffered a huge loss against the Hunters over the weekend while the Spiders only lost a nail biter to their close rival, the Hills Hornets. In the round's other matches, Illawarra will be hoping to get their first win against the Hunters and also Sutherland Sharks will be playing against the Norse Bears. In Division I men's, the Hawkesbury Jets host the Southwest Razorbacks. Both of these teams looking for their first win. It should be an arm wrestle as to who gets this one. Heading further west, the Double Rams will play against the Wagga Heat. Once again, neither one of these teams has secured a victory. Be hoping this weekend will be the one. Steering back into the city, the Inner West Bulls will be hoping to get a road win against the Sydney Uni Lions. The Bulls went down by eight last week against the Bears while the Lions had a comfortable win over the Sharks. While in some other matchups, the Hills Hornets and the Norse Bears will be hoping to pick up some road wins with the Hornets up against the Bankstown Bruins and the Bears taking on the Sharkies. Quickly touching on the first match of the Division I women's, it's the Bathurst Gold Miners going up against the Golden Bears in a regional affair should be a tight one. Youth League men's, well, let's see if the Mossvale Magic can work their magic up against the visiting team, the Newcastle Hunters. Mossvale had the week off last weekend after a loss to the Bankstown Bruins in round one. While at Alexandria Stadium, the Sydney Comets will host the Penrith Panthers. The Comets will be playing a doubleheader this weekend, hoping to secure victories as they take on the Inner West Bulls. In some other matches for the weekend, the Bankstown Bruins will host the Storm and the Sutherland Sharks will play host to the Norse Bears. In Youth League Women's, it's the Sutherland Sharks taking on the Norse Bears. Both of these teams won in convincing matter last week, but no one was more convincing than the Sutherland Sharks who scored 100 against the Razorbacks. The Razorbacks this week will take on the Hunters as they hope to get their first win of the season at home. Other matches, you'll see the Comets play a doubleheader, firstly against the Spiders before heading back home on Sunday to host the Panthers, while the Bankstown Bruins will host the Hills Hornets. Briefly looking over Division II Men's Youth League, the Spiders will play host to the Comets, while the Saints will host the Scorchers. Both sides will hope to bounce back from last week's losses, while the Jets will play the Hornets at home and the Comets versing the Panthers to round off the weekend. That's it for our round three preview. Make sure you try and get out to the games. They are worth their weight in gold. But if you can't, well, don't stress. Check us out here on The Wrap and we will keep you up to date. Make sure you use the hashtag BNSW to upload all the good stuff that you see at the game and you want to send to us. Also, make sure you get to the social media channels. And my quote to end this show is, don't let your failures of today get in the way of your success of tomorrow. See you next time.